an excerpt from an upcoming audiobook, The Blogger's Adventure by Dolores Fisher. This particular excerpt is entitled An Open Letter to Maya Angelou, author, poet, and mother to many of us. It is found in the Sonic Tapestry blog that I created almost 10 years ago. If I were to write an open letter to a list of writers who have impacted my life since childhood, the list would start with Maya Angelou. In my old neighborhood, we had play mamas, those who in African-American culture are what we call fictive kin. These women were approved by our parents, they were part of our everyday social fabric, women who joined in the community goal of helping us reach a healthy, productive, and spiritually positive adulthood. They would nurture, chastise, and comfort for the good of children, family, and community. As I begin thinking seriously about writing you this open letter, Mama Angelou, Mama Maya, my heart fills with sadness at your transition and joy at the nourishing words you left behind for us to feast upon while spiritually drained and emotionally famished. Especially during this very traumatic COVID-19 pandemic experience. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What would I say today? Mama Maya, first I want to say thank you for making my life brighter with books filled with, with memories from your childhood southern rural word portrait landscape and adult global travel snapshots from tours with the cast of Porgy and Bess all the way to living in Egypt. Your critically observant interior thoughtscape not only helped me sidestep several major culture war landmines in the late 60s, but it today gives light to my cloudy thoughts about 21st century camouflaged ideological complexities and PC stereotypes waiting in ambush hiding in discursively banal cultural shape-shifting rhetoric. At one point during my youth, you went from confidant to role model. You became that hip but wise auntie from out there in the world whom I had never met but watched on TV, speaking poetry, speaking truth to the nation, delivering on the pulse of mourning at a presidential inauguration. You know, youth are so hard to impress, but what a day. Many of my friends and I were so proud. We pronounced your name as if it was a rare golden diamond. My mommy and daddy both loved spoken word and poetry. And of course, my mommy that I also called mama loved roses and flowers and gardens and the fragrance of plants. You know, my daddy was just like his daddy. His daddy was a farmer. My daddy loved fruit and vegetables, tilling the land. And like both their fathers, my mama and my daddy loved us, their children. And they planted in us much seed for future ripening and harvest. Mama Angelou, you know, y'all both shared similar voices, you and my mama. 
love-infused voices with twinkling-eyed, mischievous smiles and full-bellied laughs waiting to burst into air with open delight. My mama would look into my daddy's eyes and look at us and just beam. She would glow. The love was that evident. I got to tell you, I did not know you personally, but but I hope as a writer and poet to be included among your daughters. Your life continues to inspire a pearl of love from God. Thank you for sharing. I am a better woman because of so precious a gift that you allowed us to enjoy, to feast on, to cloak ourselves in, to sit on the sofa with a pillow drinking hot herbal tea, looking at and listening to words of wisdom and love. Thank you for your sharing.